Hey guys, it's Weezy, the Sexy Grandma 2K. Girl, I decided I want to start trying to do a little vlog here and there. Well, I just decided it like 30 seconds ago. <laughs> but I'm looking for new content to add to the channel. So I thought, hey, why not try this every now and again? I'm not sure how often I'll do it. But because I feel like my life is kind of boring, so I don't know that you guys would really care to watch what I'm doing. So I'm just I just decided I'm gonna give it a attempt. An attempt. Okay. So let me know in the comments, sis, if you want to watch somebody boring. <laughs> no, if you want to watch a vlog here and there from me. And also what is it you would like to see from me? In 2021, I plan on going hard on YouTube. And I, I really would like to know what type of content you would like to see besides just wigs. Okay? So, girl, I've been up since 5.30 this morning. But I didn't really get up. You know how you be up, but you just kind of lay in there or whatever. So I didn't actually get up probably until about seven. And at that time, I got up and I decided that, well, I decided this last night when I got off work. Um, but I decided that I was going to pay all the bills because I always, you know, I won't say I forget, but I just need to pay them. And I don't wait until like, if a bill is due on the 2nd, and then you got another one due on the 17th, and you got another one due on the 29th, girl, ain't nobody got time for that. I'm just going to pay everybody at the same time. We done with it, sis, and I'm moving on. But I will say there, was not, there wasn't always a point in my life when I could do that. Girl, I was robbing from Peter to pay Paul and to get... I was trying to just get my coins to look in the same direction. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I didn't really have anything. Well, I won't say I didn't have anything. I had stuff. But my issue is I didn't know how to manage money at all. And even today, sis, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to learn that by watching some YouTube videos. Um, and yeah, I'm going to get that together. So that's actually one of the things that I'm going to be working on in 2021. I decided I'm not doing any New Year's resolutions because we all know by January the 2nd, that's gone out the door. <laughs> so what I'm planning on doing is really planning my life out so that I can visually see, you know, where I need to shake, where I need to move. Um, so yeah, so you guys know, I just started getting into doing the planners and blah, 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 blah. So I like to decorate the planners, but then I don't necessarily go back. Shh, don't tell nobody, but I don't necessarily go back and fill in what I need to do, sis. I just, you know, be like a kid playing with some stickers on some paper. This year, I am definitely going to be planning things out. I'm going to be getting um, more organized. I need to have more clarity around what I'm doing in my life. So if you're kind of having that same struggle, let me know in the comments. Oh, my lace is lifting right there. Child, anybody got time but anyway, that? let me know in the comments, um, you know, that you got the same struggle. So I know I ain't by myself, sis. And we can work on it together in 2021. Okay. So I got up. I paid all the bills. Um, and then, oh. It's Tuesday. It's trash day. So I had to, my husband already took the trash to the curb, but he just take the trash in the trash can to the curb. <laughs> he not finna get up and empty the bathroom trash, the, you know, the trash down here in my little YouTube studio, the trash in the family room, the trash out of him. He ain't finna do all that. It's like a, it, he taking the trash to the curb and he done with it. <laughs> if you didn't put it in that kitchen trash, it's not going out by him. <laughs> But so I got up, I took all the trash out and everything, uh, clean every Tuesday. I go through our refrigerator. I get rid of old food or food we're not going to eat anymore. My family don't really like leftovers and I'm not a huge cooker. So that works great. But so they'll eat leftovers like one time. And then they like it, well, that ain't no good no more. So a lot of times we have a lot of waste. And I hate to say that, but sis, it is what it is. We do. 
Um, so I go through the refrigerator, I clean it out. Plus my, um, you know, my mom lives with us as well. We're like one big happy family. But my mom, I don't want her to hear me, but my mom like to buy up a bunch of stuff. And I don't know where she got this from. I mean, she grew up in a family of six. And maybe, you know, she was used to cooking for a lot of people. But I can't even use that excuse because I'm my only child. And she didn't cook for no lot of people, sis. She barely cooked for me. <laughs> but anyway, so now that she didn't got older, she liked buying all this stuff. Like from the grocery store, she'll buy like, you know, them big, ba them big bags of onion where it got like damn near 20 onions in it. Uh, she buys all these two, not one thing is celery, two. What you need two things of celery for, sis? What you fuck up with all that? Um, she'll buy stuff like, you know, tomatoes and I can't even, oh, like a bunch of oranges and apples, but I'm talking about y'all, like 20 of them. We're not talking about a few. So she buys all of this stuff and that's just kind of the things that I could think of off the top of my head. But then she'll never do nothing with them. Like, she'll go buy greens. She'll never cook the greens. I'm like, sis, why you buying greens? You ain't finna get them cook these greens. <laughs> but, and I ain't finna cook these greens. <laughs> anyway, um, so we always wind up with a lot of, of food that we're wasting in this house to be just facts. That's just the truth. So I wind up throwing all that stuff away. So that's why I have to clean out the refrigerator every Tuesday. Okay, so I did that, y'all. And then I was like, okay, uh, I need to go down, do my makeup. Um, I'm, I come here a little high water. I'm feeling that, filming that try on haul today so I can start wearing them clothes. I done bought over $300 worth of clothes and ain't even wore none of them because I'm like, oh, I got to save that for the try on haul. I got to do the try on haul. Well, y'all, them clothes been sitting down here. I, I, I'm going to probably take you in there and let you see them. But they've been sitting down here, girl, on the couch for at least, what's today? Today is the 28th. Them clothes have been sitting on that couch probably at least November 29th or through December the 2nd. Sometime right around in there about this stuff. Okay, so <laughs> ain't warm yet because I'm waiting to show y'all. <laughs> so, um, But I'll go show them to you in a minute. Um, just so y'all could see how I got them stacked up or whatever. Okay, so I came down here. I just did my makeup. I really, really like it, you guys. I call myself trying to do a natural look. I, for the life of me, cannot do a natural makeup look. Sis, I mean, I just, I don't know. I can't figure it out. I can't do it. I always, you know, try to, but then I wind up putting all these colors on. And then we done went left. Nothing looks natural. It's all kind of glammed up or whatever. So this was my kind of neutral look that I created. And I know it's not neutral, neutral, but um, I used one of my Pat McGrath palettes. And I love this, um, what they call it, like a trio chrome, something like that. Duo chrome, trio chrome. I don't know, the, the shade on my lids. So it kind of like depends on how you turn your head. It might look pink. You turn over here, it might look green, um, you know, kind of like outside. So it was my attempt to be, but then, you know, other times it just looks kind of like a, you know, just a neutral little, you put some little pink on your eyes. So I decided to use this and this is my attempt, y'all, at a neutral look. <laughs> I didn't really use foundation um, on my face, you guys. I used concealer. And so if you watch that video where I showed you, um, like how to do a no foundation makeup look, I can't remember what I called that video. Dang y'all, I got the camera turned the wrong way for YouTube. Y'all gonna just see it straight up and down. I'll flip this her thing so you can see it the right way, um, on the next little segment when I'm done running my mouth. <laughs> okay, but anyway... So, oh, so I will leave that link for you guys up here and put it down in the description box that'll show you like how I did my makeup. Now, I did do a little bit more because I was down here playing around. I did go ahead and put some blush on. I kind of contoured my cheekbones a little bit just because I was trying to get an idea of how my look's going to look tonight when I film a video. 
But normally I wouldn't do that. Like if I was going to work or just hanging out for the day, I'm not finna do all that anymore. And to put on lipstick, I'm so mad. I can't wear my, my lipsticks because we constantly got masks on. So I just kind of outlined my lips with one of my Pat McGrath pencils and I put on just some lip gloss um, that I got from Bold and Brave Cosmetics. And you guys, I do have a link if you guys want to check out Bold and Brave Cosmetics where you can save some coins. That's where I get my lashes and, you know, other little things. And full disclosure, that is my cousin's company. And y'all, I'm so proud of her. Like, her stuff is fire. So, um, this is not a paid, what you call that? My mind went blank, y'all. Uh. I don't know, but y'all, I ain't getting paid to tell y'all this or when you use your um, discount code. It's just something that she, she's a Weezette also. Um, she subscribed to the channel and she just wanted to be able to bless us as well um, with her new vi uh, business endeavor plus give us a discount. Okay, so anyway, this is what I came up with. What I'm doing right now, y'all, I love this wig so much. This wig is one of my go-to wigs. And if you guys saw, I was in... Um, Britney's um fav favorite wigs of 2020 video. Shout out to you, Britney, the Hearts and Cake 90. Um, and my favorite wig of 2020 was Utre's Kamaya. You guys, this one is like right up there with her. Like they run a neck and neck. This is my other favorite that I just reviewed towards the end of this year. And it's by Bobby Boss, and her name is Susie. And she is my favorite straight wig. Yeah, that's what I'll say. Because she's my go-to girl. I put her on and I just keep bouncing her back. You know, when the ends get rough looking, I just keep bouncing her back. I've washed her multiple times. I got my baby hairs cut exactly how I want them. It's easy for me to lay them each time. But this wig... I absolutely love. Now, you guys might get it and be like, oh, she tangles, she this, she that. Girl, it's synthetic. So, yeah, see, she'll tangle. I had her all pushed in the back. But you got to just know what to do to bounce her back. And I feel like now I done got her so, you know, like trained that um, she is better than when she came out the pack to oh, me. That's what I was going to tell y'all. So I had already done this side and I was just finishing up real quick, straightening this side back out. Now, you guys, I did use on her um, my, oh, what you call that stuff, sis? Oh, my um, awesome wig spray, as well as my simple styling um, sil silicone serum. God, I couldn't get that out. Okay, so I've put that on her to kind of, you know, help to tame the hairs and um, everything. Is that your hair? hit me to that serum and I'm telling y'all if y'all got synthetic wigs I wish I'd have known about this stuff sooner but if you wear synthetic wigs you definitely need this serum and some wig spray in your life um, because it's going to help you bounce your units back every time all right y'all hold on I'm gonna turn this camera the right way because I want y'all to be able to I want to be able to upload it the right way okay hang on okay girl that's more better um, so yeah, I'm just going to finish real quick getting this wig together. I'm also using my blow dryer. I use this all the time, um, as well to help just seal everything in when I put that spray in the serum on. So hang on. Girl, and I don't know why I'm looking at y'all over here. Just rude. That camera's right there, Wheezy. So hang on y'all. mess up right here let me see i might wear a headband today i don't know if i feel like going through all that but let me just see what it looks like oh i need to lay that little piece back down too let me do that real quick sis 
Just gonna spray some of my bad head on it. I just opened up a new can because I used one of these whole cans now. If you don't know about this stuff, oh my God, where you been? Do you watch this channel for real? I will leave a link to the video I did on it right here, sis. Got to be glued who? It's finna be 2021. Get with the program. I will say, y'all, I do kind of still use my um, got to be glued just every now and again because I don't want it to, to waste it. The freezing spray I'm talking about. Now, I still use my gel, my got to be glued gel. That's what I kind of use on my baby hairs. And I think what I'm going to do is do a whole video on how to lay your lace and how to do baby hairs. So if you want to see that, if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments and I will make sure I get that made. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so let me just get this, this little piece here. Okay, sis, so I want to see if I want to put a headband on today or what. So let me grab my headbands. So I keep them on this big wig head that I got off of my favorite store, Amazon. And all the ones on here are all from uh, Still Looking Good 58, my bestie. <laughs> she has her own um, store where she makes handmade headbands. So these are all hers, as well as I have my Glee Made headbands on here from um, Just the ja Dragoness, or I'm sorry, Just um, Nicole, I think it is. I don't know, I'm gonna always call her Just the Dragoness. But regardless, I'll leave both links um, down in the description box. But I just put theirs on here because they're my wig base sis and they're special to me. These are um, all of my Amazon headband, headbands in here. So, and I just keep them in it. I got this little thing from the, um, where I get this? It was either the dollar store or that $5 store. But I absolutely love this. I got two of them. I got the other one. I keep all my makeup wipes in it. So, you know, my girls know that if they need some wipes, they just come down and get it out of here. But you better not take the last one and not say nothing. I'm just saying. Okay, so let's find a headband, shall we? I think this one would be really cute. This is one of my favorite ones, too, from the Amazon haul. I love this headband. Oh, but wait, doing too much, sis. Slow your roll. I don't know. It could work. It might be too busy. Let's see. I guess I could do like a solid, solid color, like a red or something. That would be really cute, wouldn't it? Because I don't really want to do a black. Because mm, I just, mm, I need a little pop or something. So, let's see. I can use one of my headbands from Faith from Still Looking Good 58. This might be kind of cute. I don't know, maybe I just need one solid color, but I love this one. Purple and pink is my favorite colors, so I, this is so cute. <laughs> Plus, I'm a February baby, and purple, you know, amethyst, amethyst is my birthstone. So, yeah. So, leave a, leave a comment below if you're a February baby, too. My birthday's on February 1st, so as soon as February gets here, it's your girl birthday. <laughs> she don't have to wait. To the end of the month, the middle of the month. As soon as y'all say February, boom, it's me. I'm up. Okay, I think I'm going to just do one plain color. And I think it'll be really, I think this one look really good. So let's try it. So let's see what this going to look like. And I love these headbands because look how wide they are. And I love the detailing in the front with the little knot. I don't know, is that what they call the boho headband? I don't remember. I did a headband haul, y'all. Um, I did videos on all my headbands. So, sis, if you missed it, I'll leave a link right here so that you'll be able to see it. I also did one of my rhinestone headbands. 
I mean, I'll show you those in just a second here. Oh, y'all, this is cute, cute. Oh, yes, this is how we roll in today. Eh. Okay, so let me just say, if you ain't got no edges, come here, let me show you something. You don't need no, sis. Put one of your old wigs on, you know, sculpture your little baby hairs down or whatever, and bam, <laughs> you got some edges. <laughs> <laughs> but the nice thing about these headbands are they are so wide and I showed you guys how to do this on, on the headband video but if you don't have edges sis look at that just pull this headband forward and it's going to cover up everything you ain't got to have no edges see so you got options <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pull this one back today so you can see my edges. Your girl is rolling in edges today. So yeah, this is so cute. I love it. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Whenever I get excited, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, girl, you need to keep your tongue in your mouth. So this is what we doing today. All right. So what I'm gonna do, I, I want I was want to show you guys like my behind the scenes of what's in front of me when I'm filming. If you follow my channel, then um you know that my grandbaby's doing virtual learning. So what I did was I took my little studio and I turned it into a kindergarten um room for her because my baby didn't get to go to kindergarten and experience kindergarten so i wanted to give her a little space that was all of her own that looked like a kindergarten room where she could do her virtual learning so with that said i wound up in this little space now in the corner instead of having a whole big room so i'm gonna just show y'all my little space but first what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go get my little handheld um thingamajig so that I won't be bouncing y'all around so much. All right. Hold on. Girl, this cute. <laughs> okay, I was just going to show y'all real quick. This is my handheld one that I use. And I like it because it's so sturdy. Like, you can grip this and it doesn't slip out of your hand or anything. So, this is a really good thing. And, of course, I got it from my favorite store. So, yeah, I really like this. Okay, so let me just kind of show you guys my setup. <laughs> um, it's kind of messy right now, but this is a little headband holder that I ordered off of Amazon. I absolutely love this thing because I can just kind of display all my headbands like that. Um, and I really, really like it. So these are all my rhinestone ones that I got. And I did do a video on all the rhinestone headbands. I will... Um, link it here or over here but i will link it for you guys um i did my little like i just got a little set up here with my fenty beauty my pat mcgrath stuff um lipsticks my foundations that i like to use and y'all this thing here i walked outside one day and this was just hanging on my door in a bag and I was like scared to open the bag at first because I'm like, who just going to hang a plastic bag on my door? <laughs> like, what's in there? So I'm like, I ain't finna blow up, Emma. <laughs> but anyway, I opened it up and it had this little plaque in it. And I had no idea who left this for me. I was like, oh my God, that is so sweet. I love this thing. And so I didn't find out till several days later that my aunt came over here and put this on my door. Ain't that sweet? She love me. But anyway, this is just some extra um, Fenty skin that I have on deck. So when mine runs out, no big deal. I got that on deck and on display. So if I have to use this one, I'll buy another one and then I'll put that one on display. So, you know, I just swipe them out. And I got another um, little headband. Same, you know, it's the same little thing here. But on this one, I keep all of my regular kind of headbands. And my grandbaby wanted me to put the butterflies there, so I did. Okay, guys, now this, what I'm going to show you, this is what I'm looking at, you know, that's sitting in front of me when I'm filming for you guys or doing makeup reviews. So I really got to uh, 
put my stuff up because I never, never, never leave my stuff out. I always, y'all, put all of my stuff away. I don't know. I'm a little OCD like that, <laughs> but I have to put my stuff away. Plus, that way I know if my teenage daughter's been down here in my stuff because they ain't finna put nothing away. You know how that go. Okay, so um, anyway, what I got here is, well, I'm going to move my makeup brushes. Keep those down here. Okay, so this thing here, I might have showed you this already. I don't know. But I love this thing because I also got it off of Amazon. But see, it's got plugs all the way around it. And it also has like, you know, these things like, um, I, I don't know what these are called, but for like your cell phones and all of that kind of stuff. So this was an awesome buy. Um, and then I love my little makeup tower here, a makeup brush tower. Got this off of Amazon as well. Everything I'm going to show y'all, I got off of Amazon unless I tell you differently. But I like to keep all of my makeup brushes that I use a lot just in this tower. Um, I got my laptop here for when I want to go live and do stuff or whatever. I use my laptop. I always have me some water up here on deck because I'm always drinking water when I'm getting ready. I got some lashes here. Oh, I got some uh, hair gel. And this is the um, She Is Bomb gel. Oh my God, this stuff is bomb. I, he I heard about this from Natural Joy and from the Hearts and Cake 90. So, of course, I had to order it off of Amazon. Now, this one, a girlfriend of mine told me about. I just got it today, and I haven't even tried it yet. So, I'll try it and see what that's about. But it's called Insta Instant Control Edge and, Bra and Braid Gel. And it's Maximum Hold. And she told me that it's the bomb. So, we'll see. This is my little um, bait, my phone base that I put my phone on when I'm filming so that it's right in front of me. And I love this thing because I can like, I'm trying to see if y'all, if how y'all see it, but I can put it like straight up in the air. Like, like, oh, let me take my N95 off of there, but see how it like, I can bend it however I want to bend it. And then when I do my planner videos, like, um, or whatever, I can, Pull this up and it'll look straight down on whatever I have on the table, if that makes sense. Like it looks down like this. So that way you can see what my hands are doing or whatever. So I really like this thing. This was a really, really good buy. I think it was like 90 um, something dollars on Amazon, maybe a hundred, but it has been so worth it. Okay. I Oh, my little, um, so this goes to my, I have a vanity and this, this goes, you know, my mirror sits on top of the vanity, but I'm letting Halo use the vanity for her laptop and stuff for school. So I just sat this one up here and you guys, what I'm sitting at, don't judge me when I show you the bottom of this because we use it for storage, but this is actually, I'm going to show you around the front. This is actually our bar that's in the basement. See that? Got bar stools, got my tri another tripod here. Of course, I got wigs and stuff. But um, so this is our bar. So I took this little, I went to um Home Depot and I got this little styrofoam. What this is is like um insulation boards or something like that. But I watched another YouTuber who says like if you have like aluminum or this silver kind of thing that it helps to radiate light off of your face when you're filming so and it really really does see y'all y'all can even see how it does so um I really like this thing so that's that's what you know my table's looking like and it comes out just a little bit further than what my bar is so that's that on that so what I was going to show you the mirror on my from my vanity I ordered these lights off of Amazon and they're um, adhesive and I just stuck them around there and I mean it, it is so beautiful it came out so good and so I have loved having this because when I bought it of course it didn't have the lights so just so you know that's an option you can do lights like that that are adhesive if you need to stick them on your mirror and make a mirror um, light ring light Okay, then I got my regular. This is a makeup ring light that I bought from um, B 
Bed Bath & Beyond. It was on clearance and it was only $29 and it's regular $150. So it's got like the magnifying and then the regular side and I like it because it lights up. Then I got my regular ring light back there. I got my, um, I forgot what these big lights are called, but yeah, I got box lights. Now, this is another thing that I absolutely love that I got off of Amazon. It's another mirror, and I like it because, like, these things move, and I can, you know, move them wherever I want to be able to see myself. And then this side over here, they're magnified. And as you can see, like, it has a plug on it, and this whole thing lights up. So it's like another ring light, kind of, but a square light. Um, and then I like it because it's like a little storage caddy where I can store like my makeup stuff or whatever I want to store in here to be able to grab it quickly. And so I, I keep my powders in here, some of my foundations, lipstick. Um, I keep pens in case I need to take notes. I got my contacts back here. Um, markers and pens. I got my thing to, uh, eyelash curler got all that back there um and then just i got some fenty foundation here so just you know oh i got some super glue in case something breaks and i need to stick it back uh some lotion some more lotion here because y'all know my hands be a hot mess so i keep that that all that stuff in the caddy i'm just gonna put it back and i keep it back like that Okay, so that's what's happening in the front of me, okay? And then behind me, you guys, like I have this little, like, dresser thing that I bought. And I got, like, all kind of, like, supplies in there that I need for my videos, hair stuff, my uh, lace tent, my uh, stuff that I use for my, make my part look real. Um, so just all kind of stuff, extra makeup brushes. I got this whole James Charles thing I haven't opened, but just a lot of stuff down there that's, that I need that. Okay. Let me just confess. Whenever I find something, y'all, I always buy two. So a lot of the stuff down there is just like the second of thing of what I normally use. <sighs> yeah. I, I, my struggle is real. Okay, and then on top here, I got, of course, more makeup brushes because your girl hates washing makeup brushes. So I just keep buying more. <laughs> I normally wait for Morphe to have sales and then that's when I stock up on makeup brushes. Um, I got all my hair stuff back here, my water that I may need, um, alcohol, my um, mousses, just everything that I need to lay my lace and everything. I have it all back here. And then I have like all of my combs here. I got scissors and another section and all my brushes over here. Like I keep my stuff organized. <laughs> um, yeah, and this is just more wig spray and hair stuff. There's a bunch of makeup brushes in here. Uh, back here, I have just like extra makeup. Like those are all Huda Beauty eyeshadows. I keep my hair clips in here, um, ponytail holders and things. Uh, keep my stuff to do my lashes in there. And then again, just extra makeup stuff in there. Now in, in this thing, it has a top drawer. And in this top drawer, I keep like all of my uh, regular shadows and stuff that I use. So this is like all of my Juvia's Place stuff. I got all of my like Pat McGrath palettes are all sitting here. I got one, two, three, four, five, six Pat McGrath palettes. And then of course I got these smaller Pat McGrath palettes. Um, every palette that um, Juvia's Place makes, I have in this drawer. I have every one of their palettes, except for I'm waiting for the new Fumi and what, Michelle or whatever that is. I'm waiting for that to come. Um, I have hand creams in here. I have my little handheld 
dryer so that when I need to like wait for my lace to dry or something, sometimes I'll hold this up, make it go faster. Um, I have all my Morphe shadows. Uh, that's a foamy lipstick from Juvia's Place. My Jackie Ina palette. Just all that kind of stuff. My Tatcha um, primer. And so all the stuff that I would want quickly. Um, my Natasha Denona palette, which I really don't like. But the stuff that I, this is stuff that I use regularly for my makeup. So I sit in my chair. Oh, and then this is my chair right here. So I sit in my chair and I can just reach behind me and grab whatever makeup stuff I need. And then over here, I have my, of course, paper towels. I got some makeup brushes here that I use. I normally put my ones that I use like daily in these little things just so I can grab them quick. I got all of my like uh, eye makeup. I mean, you know, stuff to do my lashes, my brows, all of that kind of stuff for there. These are all my Fenty Beauty. Um, uh, what she call these things? My mind just slipped. Uh, matchsticks. That's what she call them. All my Fenty Beauty matchsticks. I got stuff in here to to um, put makeup in my lace. Uh, this is blush stuff. Uh, this is just more palettes. This is a um, crayon case palette. And then other stuff, uh, Urban Decay and uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills stuff. I have lipsticks up here that, of course, are getting dusty because I can't use lipsticks right now. Um, and my Fenty lip paints and everything. I have my setting sprays up here, my wig sprays, um, and then some more just makeup, like these are concealers. Then I have a whole thing, of, another thing of makeup brushes here with my um, beauty blenders that I use. And I got all of that there. Now I got this little thing, you guys. I got this at Sally's and I love it because it just like sticks to your table. Like it has suction cups on it. And you can put like your curling irons and things in there. And you can sit them in there even when it's hot. And so you don't have to be, you know, when you turn them off or whatever, you don't have to leave them laying on your table. You can stick them in here and they cool off right in there and it doesn't melt or anything. And then I got another one over here. Exact same thing that has my curling iron in it. This is some of my receipts from stuff that I buy for the channel. Um, this is a, a little like YouTube notebook that I have that I take notes when I review the wigs. I'll write notes in here so that, you know, I don't forget to tell you guys things um, that I want to tell you about the wig. You know, when I come back and get my opinion, like I'll take little notes on here so that I don't forget to tell you stuff. So pretty much you all, that's my setup down here. Um, so I'm pretty much like down here a lot. So also, you know, you guys who follow me, you know that I'm a nurse. Um, I work in the operating room. And so... Um, Let's see. So I do take care of, um, why is my face not focused? I do take care of COVID patients also. So I, so like I told you guys, my 73 year old mom lives with us and I'm just really afraid about bringing the virus home and getting my mom sick. We ain't doing that sis. Yeah. I only get one mama <laughs> and she ain't going out like that. So what I do is when I come, you know, when I come home, um, I go straight to the washing machine. That's kind of where I get undressed. I stay down in the basement for, um, so I work every Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So after I'm done doing, you know, my shifts, I stay in the basement. And then I stay down here for two, for two of my off days just to make sure that I don't have any symptoms or anything. I social distance myself from everybody because I just don't want to give this thing to my family. And, and my mom is at such high risk. I'm just, 
I'm not doing it. I mean, I don't know if that's the, the real right thing to do. You know, if two days is long enough or whatever, but that's what I do. That's what I choose to do to kind of, you know, prevent things from happening. Because I don't care if I get it myself. I don't want my mom to have it because I don't know that she would survive it at all. So I'm going to show you guys where I stay down here in the basement. And the kids know that they don't come down here Um when I stay down here, unless they like put a mask on and I keep my mask on, like when I go upstairs, if I need to go upstairs, I'll put my mask on so that, you know, um, I don't infect anybody. So yeah, I wear my mask all the time, but this is the room that I stay in. This is my bed. <laughs> it's our couch and I like to pull like the little leg thing out. And I, I use that kind of as a table. Um, and then I got the love seat over here. This is all the clothes I have for the try-on haul. We'll talk about that. This is all like my little planner stuff. I keep it like in this thing. This thing is just full of planning stuff. I'm not even going to show y'all because it's going to all fall down. I keep my lunch box down here. Got a little TV set up. Uh, I'm going to turn this light on. So you guys can see better. Oh, I don't know. Maybe that was worse. Um, got our treadmill here. Full length mirror. Um, I just I bought this thing like several weeks ago, you guys. But it's a um, it's like a little cart that I'm going to put together to use for my planner stuff, so I can store all my planner stuff in this. And then I can kind of push it back against the wall instead of having it all sitting on the table looking ratchet. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I keep like little utensils all down over here. Um, I got my heater because it gets cold down here now that the weather's changing. Got a fan um, if I need that. If it gets a little, you know, hot, I have my fan. I got a little refrigerator. Let me show y'all what I got. <laughs> I just keep like some cups of ice in here in case I want to drink some soda um, or juice. I'll have a little ice. And down here, I like will keep my lunch stuff in here and just like little kind of snacks or whatever that I might want. Like I got pomegranates down there and apples because I like eating apples and peanut butter. This is... um some cheesecake factory stuff that I didn't eat that I got yesterday. I took it for lunch, but I didn't eat it all. So I brought it home so I can eat it. My uh, eyes is always bigger than my stomach. And then here on the door, I got soda, butter in these containers. I got water and my favorite drink, sis. Roscato. I love this stuff. If you don't know about this, you better get hip to it. My cousin helped me to it. So, and I know wigs to waist length love it. <laughs> I think I helped her to it. So, that's what I keep in my fridge. And then I have my favorite drink, Diet Pepsi, and some smart water. Because I don't like dumb water. <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. Um, so, pretty much, this is my little room um, that I stay down in to social distance from everybody so I always get happy on like Thursday because then I can go up and be with my husband and sleep with my husband but the first two days after you know my three shifts in a row and during my three shifts I live down here and then even you know after the two days when I can go upstairs and be with everybody I still wear my mask around my mom period poo period so that's pretty much my deal down here. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do now, I got to go pick my car up um, from the dealership and give them their rental car back. I had to get my oil changed and I've had their car since, let's see, Tuesday of last week. And today is, so I've had it for seven days because today is Tuesday again. Um, so they told me to keep it, uh, so I kept keeping it and putting miles on it. 
<laughs> because like I told you, I live an hour away for work. So, hey, I'll take that. I, I'll, I'll take the free mile, that free miles that I don't have to put on my own car. All right. So we're going to go get my car. Today is my husband's birthday. I need to get his birthday cake uh, or get him a birthday cake before he gets home. And he's going to be here in a minute. So we got to go, girl. So it won't look like I just left to get him a cake because I forgot to order it because I didn't realize his birthday was this quick. So anyway, <laughs> um, this is my little Samsung earpiece that I like uh, to keep in my ear. You know, my wireless. You know, I got um, Android. I don't mess with that Apple crap. This is the other, the other really neat thing, guys. I have a remote for all my lights back here. Um, and I can just hit this one button. And it's going to turn off all of my lights because I have one, two, three, four, five, six different things, six different lights up here. But that I used to have to keep plugging in, taking it out. I hated that. Turn them on, turn them off. So I got this little remote that one click, everything goes off. So I'm going to show y'all. Ready? <laughs> all right, let's go. Okay, y'all, let me show you real quick before we leave the house. I'm going to get caught by my husband. Okay, see, over here on the couch, I might have to put on some more light. But this is all the clothes for the train on her. <laughs> all this stuff. Even got boots up under here. Got all these outfits. I don't want to show them all to y'all. But yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, the try on her. Huh? right now this is another thing we might tackle on a vlog this is my basement back where the washer and dryer is and i got two rounders of clothes that i really need to clean off they got all the wigs i got all them shoes so we're gonna tackle that i'm gonna give a bunch of stuff to goodwill yada yada but right now i need to grab a sweater so I just got on like some black leggings and a little shirt. So I'm going to grab this sweater to put on. Come on, child. Nobody got time for this. All right. Got my sweater. Got to throw my mask on so I can go upstairs and walk out the house. My house look a hot mess. Hey, son. I'm finna go get daddy's uh, birthday cake and gotta get my car back. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If, 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 if I don't leave, can I, can I sing happy birthday song and eat some cake? Absolutely. Let me go get it. And I'm gonna get some ice cream. All right, y'all. Go to my garage. Why is my garage door open? Like, who did that? Oh, my mom. My mom went somewhere today. So you guys, this is my, um, the rental car that I have. It looks exactly like my car. Like this is my car. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to take it back. All right, let's go. All right. Since I ain't in my car, <laughs> I have to get out that car, come back in the garage, put the garage door down. And go out the door. Ooh, child. Okay. So in my car, I got a garage door opener. So I wouldn't have to do all that. All right. Let's go get my baby. My car, her name is Dream. <laughs> and when I get her, I'll be able to mount you guys um, on my dash. Because I have a dashboard mounter. All right, y'all, so before we go, I got to make sure I got everything out of this rental car. So I need my glasses. I keep a bag of gloves. Oh, y'all can't see that. I keep a Ziploc bag just full of gloves in the car. So definitely want to make sure I don't forget those. Um, for when I'm getting gas, I always put gloves on. All right, hold on. Let me see what else I got. This is what I got in this back seat. All right, I just got my um, coat. 
and my grandbaby's car seat and my work bag there so that's all easy to grab Let's see if I got anything in this trunk nope I got everything out the trunk all right let me check the glove box this is gonna be a long video y'all nope that's none of my stuff Okay, let me make sure ain't nothing fall on the floor up under the seat. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. <clears throat> okay, now let's go get my car. Oh, the other thing I have is I always keep hand sanitizer right here in my door and like extra napkins. So I'm just going to put my hand sanitizer in my purse so that I don't forget it. Okay, now we're ready. Let's go. I hate these dang on earbuds. They do not fit in my ears. They constantly fall out. I watched a YouTube video on, on how you supposed to have them in your ear. Well, you know, at first I had them in back. Because I touched the stupid earphone and it hung up. <laughs> but I really want them to be great. Because I like how I can keep, you know, I can have it in my ear. Wherever I go and nobody knows I have it in my ear, even at work. Uh, we're here at the dealership. Um, getting ready to go in here and get my baby. Oh, damn. Everything just fell out my purse. And I'm talking on the phone to my lovely sister-in-law. So, right. All right. So, I'm just going to pull in here, get my car, and then, y'all, we're going to go on to the next spot. All right, y'all. Got to get all the stuff out of the car. There's my baby. Got to undo this whole baby seat. That's a whole ordeal, sis. Oh, Jesus. Hi, dreamy girl. All right, y'all, let me get this car seat in here and I'll come back. Okay, y'all, so I get here to pick my car up, right? Now, what I brought my car in for was I needed an oil change and my brakes were squeaking. So, they didn't have my car seven days, mind you. Uh, I So, while they had my car, he called me and said, hey, we, we got your oil change done. We looked at your brakes. There's absolutely nothing wrong with your brakes. Um, your brakes and your rotors are good. I mean, if you want us to change the brakes and the rotors, then it would be like twelve, thirteen hundred dollars I'm like, why would I change it? There ain't nothing wrong. You just told me it's good. Okay. So, today, come get in my car, right? Get in my car. After I took this baby seat out, and let me tell you, that struggle is real. Um, get all my stuff back in my car, drive off. My brakes squeaking even louder than they were squeaking when I brought it in. Mm -mm. What we're not going to do is that. So what well, I'm not going to do is drive a brand new Cadillac with squeaky brakes. So my car, let's see, I bought, it, I bought my car not last year, but the year before. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what's the... Yeah, it's a... No, the year before that. My car is a 2018. Okay. So... I'm like, mm -mm, this is unacceptable. Can y'all spray something on my brakes? Do something, because I cannot drive this car with squeaky brakes. This this is not going to go down. And he's like, no, there's nothing we can spray on them. You know, it has some kind of coating on your brakes. And I don't know, some bull crap about when the coating get worn. It might squeak, but your brakes are fine. Blah, 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 blah. The other thing we could do is just like resurface your brakes, some crap like that. I'm like, how much that's gonna cost? Okay, $300. So I'm like, okay, do what we gotta do. 300 is better than 13, cause I'm not paying that. And then he, then it's like, well, looks, we ain't gonna be able to get you back in until like my first opening is January the 11th. No, sir. So you just had my car seven days. This um, resurfacing crap was not even given to me as an option to do to my car you told me my brakes were fine and they're not so january 11th it's not gonna happen who can i talk to besides you so that i can get my car back in here 
Because for real, you can keep this car and give me that rental car back and do what you got to do. So, uh, well, there's nothing else that can be done. The, I mean, there's nothing I can do. I don't have another rental car. I mean, another courtesy car available, blah, 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 blah. So now, mind you, when I came in there, I just met the service manager. Okay, nothing you can do. Service manager, walk. I was just getting ready to walk right to his office. He comes in the door, and I'm like, look, Jeff, I need you to work your magic to fix my situation. And so he asked me what was going on. I told him, I'm like, this is unacceptable. You guys have always surfaced me. I love coming here because you all are the bomb. This, unacceptable. And he was like, okay, hold on. You hold on right here. He went and did whatever he went and did, came back. He said, all of a sudden, oh boy, he told me there was nothing he could do. Oh, well, you go ahead, take the courtesy car back and leave me your keys. The manager comes back in. I'll have your car fixed tomorrow. You take the courtesy car. I'm having someone come in early, paying them overtime to fix your situation. You are absolutely right. Unacceptable, and we're going to fix the situation. I apologize for your inconvenience. That's what I thought. Okay, so now I'm back in the courtesy car. Have to come back tomorrow. But we got to go get my husband a birthday cake now. Because this was crazy. This is wasting my life. I can't get those minutes back. <laughs> but praise God ain't nobody die or nothing you know this ain't no life or death situation I got a car to drive but it's just an inconvenience not letting the devil steal my joy we're moving on let's go get a cake okay y'all we at Walmart I'm gonna go in here and see if they have a cake if they don't then I um, then I'll go to the grocery store Oh man, they're close. There ain't gonna be nobody put a name on it. Crap, crap, crap. I think. I think I'm gonna run to the grocery store because I want to get his name on it. Ooh, that's one of them big cakes. This is what happens when you get so caught up and busy and you forget to order the cake. <laughs> Man, these are perfect too. I see it's all dark back here, so ain't nobody back here to put no name on it. Mm. All right, we gotta go to the grocery store, y'all. Dang. I hate that for me. So this is our Walmart. It's like one of those super center things. Okay. Ain't no sense in standing here wishing somebody show up because they're not. Is the bakery department closed, sir? Do you know? Is that is the bakery department closed? I definitely like it. Okay, thank you. But that sucks, and I hate coming to Walmart anyway. Like I never come here anymore because I hate it. I always go to Target, <laughs> but because they have a um, bakery, I thought I would come here to see if I can get the cake. I actually like Walmart's, Walmart's cake, y'all, because they're so moist. But, oh well, we're gonna go to the grocery store. Okay, y'all, I just ordered um, six steaks from Outback, because my husband wants steak for dinner. So, I ordered um, a porterhouse for me and him. I got um, New York strip or center cut sirloins for my daughters, my both my daughters, my mom and my son. I got a ribeye. 
So I got to go pick those up. They said that they'll be ready in about 25 minutes. So um, I'm headed to the grocery store to see if I can get a cake and get my husband's name put on it. Okay. I don't have very much battery life left, so I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to vlog in here. And also, you guys, um, I was told, like, I'll vlog if they're not playing music. I was told one time that in the grocery stores, they like to play, like, love songs, especially during, like, the daytime, because they know, like, like women are out shopping for groceries, and, um... It, it makes them spend more money because they like think of their man or whatever and they want to feed him good. I don't know, it might be garbage, but that's what I was told. And I did notice that, like, I did notice that <laughs> they do play love songs during the day. So if they're not playing music, then I will like have you guys on in there, but I don't want to get a copyright thing from YouTube. So that's why I'm telling y'all. Yeah, we're at Deerberg's, which is one of our grocery stores here in Missouri. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys in. We'll see if any music's playing. Excuse me, sir. Did you drop something? It sounds like it hurts. Oh, it's in front of you. <laughs> so they do um, have the music playing, but they got it playing softly. So as long as I like can't hear it, we should be good. It sounds like, I don't know, child, kind of Mexican music or something. Oh my God, y'all would not believe I'm in this grocery store with no mask. Like, get your life. I forgot, I forgot all about the mask. I was so busy trying to bring y'all. Okay, here, I got a face covering. Hang on, let me get this on. Because I forgot my mask. This is what we doing. I had this in my purse. But normally I have a trillion masks and I just cleaned my purse out and laid them on, um, I laid them on the table so I forgot them. I am really tripping. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> Girl. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go back here by the cakes. First I'm gonna look and see yeah, we're gonna have to get a frozen cake. If they're even open to where I can get a name put on. All right, hold on. Hi. Would I be able to get a name put on a cake? Oh, girlfriend, thank you. Okay, let me go pick one out. Okay, guys. So I love chocolate cake with white icing and my husband literally does not eat cake, but we still got to sing happy birthday to him. So he getting a cake. And everybody else in my house like either white cake or yellow cake. So what we gonna do is, we gonna get a marble cake, and that way everybody happy. Oh, here go one. Let me see, I gotta check the expiration date. March 27th. Dang, cakes can last that long? Okay, so, dang, it's frozen too. Oh, uh, let's see, I don't know if this one is, that one's probably white, because all the other ones like that look white. Oh, that's the same dog on cake. Okay, it's a fourth up sheet, and it's marble. We're gonna go with this one. Dang, it's frozen. Hold on, I'm gonna see if that other one look as frozen. And when does it expire? Cause your girl don't be playing about them expiration dates. <laughs> Let's see. 
Oh, this one might 27. It's marble. It looks just as frozen, y'all. So I messed up. So gotta deal with it. Hopefully it will fall out quick. Oh, let me get. Yeah, I did, honey. Thank you. He's gonna be 53. So I should be honoring and get 53 candles. <laughs> Wouldn't that be horrible? It would be funny. Okay, let's see. This fell off. I just got to find where it goes. So I'm going to get, um, I guess, just Happy Birthday Ricky on it. I already got a five. R-I-C-K-E-Y. 53. Oh, man. Okay. Can I get happy birthday, Ricky? And then somewhere else on there, could you write dad? And then somewhere else on there, could you write grand? I mean, papa? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> then we got it all covered. <laughs> mm -hmm. pop, yeah, that's fine. Um, while you do that, I'm just gonna run and grab ice cream, okay? All right, y'all, grab some ice cream. I have um, plenty of soda and juice at home. I think, well, maybe I better get a juice for tomorrow because my daughter loves juice. I'm going to just grab one since I'm here. Although I don't know why I'm doing that because I really need to go grocery shopping. But I just spent dollars for these steaks. So they might not get no food for the rest of the week. <laughs> ah, them junkers gonna be eating hot dogs and pork and beans. <laughs> All right, so I wanna find some like um, Neapolitan, I think that's how you say it, ice cream. So that way we'll have the chocolate, the vanilla, the strawberry. Oh, here go one right here. I don't know, is Blue Bunny good? Let's see what other greens. I know Briars is pretty good. Yeah, they got one right here. So I'm gonna get that one. Yep, yep, yep. $5.49. Okay. Now I'm gonna go. Do I wanna get that? I'll get that. I'm trying to think, do I wanna get that orange juice or not? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab one. Okay. Let's see, this one is, I'll be trying to grab the one y'all that had the most ounces in it. I'll just get this, no pulp, no calcium. Oh no, I like the one that's a hundred and like 23 or 28 ounces. Ooh, child, let's see how many ounces is this one? That one only 89 too. This one, original no pulp, 120. What? 128. I don't normally buy Tropicana, but hey, it is what it is. All right, we're gonna go back and get the cake. Then I gotta run to Outback Steakhouse and pick up the steak. All right, I'll show you how the cake when it's done. Mm. Okay guys, so here's the cake. But the problem is, I forgot to tell her not to do red icing, because red icing tastes horrible. So she's gonna do another one, and we're gonna do yellow or green icing instead. Yellow. Let's do yellow, yeah. Okay. Um. So yeah, I tripped on that, I didn't tell her. So she said they'll just cut this cake up and sell it by the slice, so it's not like I'm wasting or anything. 
But she did a good job on it, putting the little names. Got Dad here and Papa, and my husband's name is Ricky. So we're good to go. I'll show you when she finishes up. Okay, now here's the cake with the yellow icing. Happy birthday, Ricky, Dad, and Papa. So, at least we got cake to eat. <laughs> All right. I just thought about it's going to be New Year's, and I didn't. I'm, I'm going to come back and get the stuff for our little celebration that we're doing at home with just you know the people that live there. But I'm going to go ahead and get this bottle of champagne. Oh, I got to see if this Asti Spamante or is it just Asti something different. Um, but I need to get the kids some sparkling cider because that's usually always sold out fast. So I'm just trying to find now where they might have that sparkling cider at because I have no clue. And then we got to get out of here to get them dang on steaks. Okay, so this is the alcohol section. Let me check on this real quick. Bottle of Asti I got. See, this is Martini and Rossi. That's the one I want. I don't think I want this other one. Cause I like, I like my own. Oh, damn, they both say, girl, get your life. They're the exact same thing. Can you tell I'm not a drinker? I just play one on TV. <laughs> I'm not a drinker, for real, for real. Okay, I guess this is Martini and Rossi. I don't know, because it don't say Asti Spamati. Oh well, that's what I'm going with. Let me find the sparkling cider. Where would it be? You would think they would have it like sitting out. Hmm. I might have to ask somebody because I have no clue. Excuse me, do you know where the um, sparkling cider would be? Oh, is this some right here? Yay, thank you, I got it. Okay, I found it. So, two for six. And they love to just drink this crap like it's soda. So, I don't know if this apple cider one any good. I'm going to get them the red grape. Uh, it's just, that's red grape. And a white grape. So, I'm going to get them two of each of those. Okay, and then I'll probably come back tomorrow and buy the party stuff. For our party, we're planning on doing um, vision boards. We're going to have a vision board party. <laughs> I thought that would be fun to do with the girls. So, that's what it's going to be. And I'll buy our snacks tomorrow. I just don't want this cider to sell out because last year it sold out and I couldn't get any. All right, pay for this and on to Go the ahead now. I already scanned it. <laughs> so I got carded for the Martini and Rossi. I didn't get excited because they card everybody, so it don't matter. Ooh, y'all got me, I gotta pay attention when I'm fooling around with y'all. I was gonna steal that ice cream. <laughs> Forgot to scan it. So this is what I be hating, because they like won't let you take the bags off of here. Please place the item in Or the machine gonna go crazy or whatever. Girl, ain't no room. I don't have enough room. So I took something out and put it in a cart. Okay. Alright. Okay, y'all. Now I gotta walk a country mile. Because you know how they make you go in one door and out the other? I guess so they can, you know, make sure about the occupancy so they can make sure there's not too many people in the grocery store or whatever. I don't know. But I hate, I, I normally think about that and I kind of park in the middle. 
so I don't have to walk a mile. But it is what it is, sis. Oh my God, y'all, look what I did. I paid for everything, but I forgot about the doggone candles. Shoot. All right, so I gotta run all the way back in the store, <laughs> pay for the candles, and come back. Them steaks gonna be ice cold by the time I got there, but I haven't got the text message yet that they're ready. All right, let me go pay for these dang on candles. Okay, guys, paid for the candles. We're now here at Outback. So I'm gonna go pick the stuff up. Okay, now I just gotta wait for them to bring the food out. Cause your girl ain't going in there. It might be some COVID up and down. So I ordered it to be curbside pickup. Yay! Okay, y'all, just got the food. Yum, yum, yum. Woohoo! Okay, so let me get home before it all get cold. <laughs> What the heck am I listening to? All right, y'all, you are absolutely not gonna believe this. Why did I have the birthday cake at the grocery store? I come home, get all the steaks in the house and everything, the dinner in the house, and I'm like, and, and I carry, you know, the ice cream, candles, all that in the house. I'm like, hold up, where's the cake? And then I'm like, okay, maybe I put it in the trunk. <laughs> Girl, I left the damn cake at the grocery store. <laughs> I can't do vlogs. I cannot do it because I'm so worried about y'all. I'm forgetting everything else happening in my life. This is absolutely insane. So now I'm on my way back to the grocery store. Girl, bye. All right, y'all. Back at the grocery store. I got the cake. They had it sitting up at the service center for me. So, good Lord Jesus, let me get back home. <laughs> this day is trying me. Three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, 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 dear daddy. Happy birthday, birthday to you. And many more. <laughs> Happy birthday, honey. <laughs> Woo! All right, we gotta cut it and Halo's gotta have the balloons. The whole birthday ordeal turned out fine. Everybody got to sing, say happy birthday. Everybody got their belly full, except me. <laughs> I got my bag right here. I'm back down in the basement. And, oh my God, y'all, I'm so tired. I gotta put my knee up. I re-injured my knee at work. So it's kind of been clowning. But I'm gonna put my knee up, put some ice on it, catch up on the news, see what happened today. Can't wait to January the 20th. That's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed my insanity. <laughs> hope it wasn't too boring. But let me know in the comments if you guys want to see any more vlogs from me because I don't I want to give you what you want I don't want to just be randomly throwing stuff uh, on the channel and since you all are the Weezettes, Tell me what you want sis. I'll make it happen <laughs> All right guys love you Be blessed and remember sis what I always say to show somebody a little piece of heaven today. This is Wheezy, the sexy grandma 2K. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.